Hello, it's Josh from Server Pro here, and today we'll be going over how to purchase your very own virtual private server from Server Pro. First of all, let's talk about what a VPS actually is and the advantages that it has. A virtual private server is essentially a virtualized computer. You are allocated certain resources, including CPU cores, memory, and storage, and you can then divide these up between various services as you desire. Advantages include having root-level administrative access to the server, meaning that you have complete control over the entire system. Additionally, you can create as many services as you like. For example, you could host an entire Minecraft network just from one server. It is worth saying that there is a slightly higher learning curve when it comes to a VPS than a regular game server. However, we've made the process of running services on a VPS extremely simple, allowing both absolute beginners and professionals alike to get the most out of our platform. Without any further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing that you're going to need to do is to head over to server.pro slash create. Once you're there, select the VPS tab and select your desired plan. Next, scroll down and select your server's location, fill in a hostname of your choice and proceed with payments. You can either pay with a credit or debit card or with your account balance. To view your available balance, hover over the account link in the top right and click balance. Should you wish to, you can also purchase balance from this screen. Once you've completed payment, your VPS should be created instantly. If not, contact our support team. Fantastic! So you're now ready to get started with your VPS. Let's have a look around the control panel. There are two navigation menus for you to be aware of. The sidebar and the service switcher. The sidebar allows you to access different sections of the control panel and the service switcher allows you to control the various services that you have set up on your server. More about this later. The dashboard shows important information about your VPS, including its hostname, IPv4 address and resource usage. The Files tab allows you to manage your service files and folders without having to use the command line. It even has a built-in file editor. Next there's the Shell tab, which allows you to access your server's console directly. It is a fully fledged command line interface and allows you to use the shortcuts that you're used to to get around, including Ctrl Shift C to copy and Ctrl Shift V to paste. It might look a little daunting at first, but don't worry, you'll get the hang of it really quickly. We've made this super easy for both advanced users and absolute beginners, so it's perfect for everyone. With that said, however, if you don't want to touch the shell, you absolutely don't have to. Next, we've got the Create Service tab. More on this later. The Firewall tab allows you to manage your server's hardware firewall rules, which allow you to filter the traffic that goes to and from your server. It is worth saying that this is a UDP-only firewall, and as such you will need to use a software firewall like UFW, which does come pre-installed, should you wish to filter TCP traffic. The Server Page tab allows you to configure your server's server page, from which you can receive donations, which will be added directly to your account balance. The Backups tab allows you to see all the backups of your server that have been taken, including both automatic backups and manual backups. You're free to create a manual backup at any time, and these backups will be retained for up to three days. Last but not least, we've got the Reset tab, which will completely erase all data on your VPS. It's worth saying that this cannot be undone, so only do this if you're absolutely sure that you wish to erase your data. Now let's head back over to the Create Service tab. This allows you to create new services on your server, which are virtualized using Docker. Simply select one of our pre-configured games or applications, configure it to your liking, and click on the Install button. Once you've created the service, it'll be added to the service switcher at the top of the screen. If you then select the service from the service switcher, you'll be able to access that service's files, shell and configuration options directly. You can add as many services as you like and they can all be accessed in this way. Let's say you've got two Minecraft servers. 
Once you've created them both in the Create Service tab, you can choose which one you want to interact with via the service switcher. You could modify the server.properties file for server A via the Files tab, and you could op yourself on server B from the Shell tab. Regardless of whether you want to just use one service, or whether you're running an entire bungee cord network, our system allows you to access the information that you need in just a few clicks. We hope that you enjoy using your new VPS. If you need any assistance, please reach out to our support team by emailing support at server.pro and we'll be very happy to help. Make sure to drop a like and leave a comment if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss the latest from Server Pro.